Hallo und willkommen zurück zu Under Rail und wir schauen uns jetzt hier Foundry äh, näher an. Das ist die Stadt, die jetzt ähm, freigeschaltet wurde, nachdem wir diesen Drill Dingstar Boomster abgegeben haben. Ich verstehe jetzt nicht ganz den Weg, den er laufen will. Ah, okay. Nix. Ja, okay. Da ist auch nix. Da könnte man aber schon nach rechts weiter. Jetzt gucken wir uns das hier mal genau an. da überhaupt hin. Aha. Foundry Grenadier, da können wir Kameras angucken. Ja. Mhm, da ist nichts weiter. Foundry Shield. Da haben wir noch ein Barrel. Das ist... Wäre Diebstahl. Leonie. The woman seems to be counting charons, but she swipes them from the counter and into her hand and then into her pocket as soon as you come near. She leans on the counter with both of her arms and smiles lightly. She is somewhat short, but lean and healthy looking. Yet her voice, while light, exhibits a noticeable degree of harshness. Welcome to Foundry's Metal Store. I am Leonie. What can I get you? What do you sell here? Various kinds of heavy plates, weapon parts, explosive weapon cases, plates, all made from many different alloys. The section is large, so take your pick. Take not... Take, not break, she smiles, it's a local lingo. Anyhow, one of these alloys is pretty much exclusive to foundry, Tychrome. What can you tell me about Tychrome? Well, Tychrome is an alloy made from titanium and chromium, a chromium, and I am proud to say that this particular alloy was first made in foundry, and only just recently. The combination of titanium's low density and high strength and chromium's high melting point creates a material that is reflective and heat resistant as well as durable. Unfortunately, mine is at the moment so chromium was unfortunately mine is at the moment so chromium excavation has been halted. <coughs> da fehlt ein Wort. But hopefully it'll be up and running sometime soon. Why is the mine closed? There was an incident. What kind of incident? Some creatures have attacked our miners, so the foundry guard has to eradicate those things before it's safe to work there again. As safe as possible, that is. You seem to be working alone with all this heavy stuff. Yes, I work mostly alone and move heavy things all the time. Funny that people ask me that question often. Just because I'm a woman doesn't mean I can't ma do a man's job. I'm a foundry woman, for crying out loud, she smiles lightly. And honestly, I really love what I do. It beats risking my neck in the mine, but if I had to do it, I'd do that too. As women aren't as friable, was fri friable, friable as you may think. What can you tell me about foundry? It's one of the best stations to live in. Mineral excavation and metallurgy is what keeps foundry running. Our mine is rich with titanium, aluminum and iron. And now that we've also found chromium deposits, we're getting more and more golden. There's one bad side. All this requires hard work and in dangerous and often unhealthy conditions. Many people die in the mine, but many also die all over under rail from bandits, starvation and disease. My store is in the best spot, turnover's good, I'm nowhere near the mine and I'm surrounded by big strong men who keep me safe. She finds it difficult to conceal the shy smile. So are you buying something? Do you know anything about the mine creatures? She shrugs. 
I really can't tell you much. The miners dug into the new cave and ran into some weird creatures. Now the mine is closed and the foundry guard is dealing with the problem. That's all we were told. I hope that was helpful. Tell me what you have to offer. Of course, do note that we don't have any of our famous Tychrom alloy components at the moment. The mine is closed right now, but hopefully uh, it'll be back up and running sometime soon. Wow, du hast ja mal haufenweise Schrott. Fire Proximity Suit. Die kauft auch nur Metal Components. Steel Plates, top Qualität und top teuer. Und die hat auch hier diese Jackhammer Dinger. Jetzt könnte ich hier eins kaufen oder ich könnte mal gucken, da war ja der andere Händler, der das auch noch hatte, wo ich zuerst äh, noch gucken werde. Ähm, denn eventuell kann ich bei dem noch was verkaufen und wenn er nicht genug Geld hat, um alles anzukaufen, kann ich da halt so einen Jackhammer nehmen. So, kann man da, kann man da, kann man da. Barkeeper, locker, locker. Okay. The barkeeper pulls out a large mug upon noticing your approach, or placing it on the counter. A moment later, he moves his head aside and releases a few abrasive sounding coughs. Take an extra second or two to recover. After wiping his eyes, he speaks with a voice as equally pleasant as his coughing. What are you having, Paul? We got a couple of strong brews here. Dark, light, rocky and pansy. That one's for a girly man and north uh, northerners. He laughs and coughs at the same time. What can you tell me about this place? Foundry is a mining station and the largest explorer of raw ores and all that is metal. He laughs, coughing. The pollution is a bit of an issue, as you can hear, but that's the price we agree to pay for the riches as well as the safety foundry guard has been ensuring us. He chuckles, coughing. Speaking of the foul air, even though I don't ever go near the mines, my coughing makes me sound like I've spent 50 years drilling with my mouth wide open. What can you tell me about this player? Hat man das gefragt? Foundry is a mining station and the largest export of raw ones and all that is metal. Uh, What's the deal with these creatures from the mine? Well, you see, recently the miners opened the passage into a new cavern. <coughs> the cavern was full of strange creatures that all had shell, a shell made of pure hard rock. Yeah, that's what I was told. And they have these. He extends his arms above and behind his head. His head? Das fehlt ein E. And spreads his fingers. These huge metal spikes in the, on their backs. Consequently, the mining operation was halted because the creatures were very aggressive, so the mine is closed for the time being. Some guardsmen were killed even. And I was told a couple of those rockies slipped in the residential area somehow since a couple of folks have gone missing, he coughs. I'm looking for merchants. Can you point me to any stores? Sure, so um, he points across from the bar. There's a Brian's store there and Bobby Bobby's up the north wall. In between you got the Doc Stevenson and his wife Estelle if you need some medical aid. Now, Leonie, you went past the store at the entrance, yeah? Yeah, okay. To the west, in the residential area, you got West Electronics Store and Messrs. Buttery. Hmm. Now, who's in charge of this place? He coughs. That would be Marshall. Martin Marshall. Where can I find him? He points to the western exit. Go there. That's the residential area. And go all the way to northwestern corner. You also find Chief Banner there. Most of the time, he's the the. <coughs> Uh, not this now. Anyhow, he's the chief of foundry guard, pal. So if you need him, that's uh, need need him. That's where you'll find him. Uh, heard any good rumors? Nicholas and Olivia had another fight. I heard from my house. I mean, damn, pal. It was like the ceiling was breaking and roaring. <coughs> had any good rumors? 
A calf's violently, violently needing a few moments to recuperate. Sorry, I asked the question. I'll be going now. See ya. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Claude. Ich spreche ich mal. The water's been purified. No traces of dangerous heavy metals in it. Guaranteed. Uh -huh. Crazy man. Join the church of Stort and be saved. Hmm, I don't care. Bobby, this short, chubby fellow greets you with an amiable smile and appears to be the owner of the store. However, it instantly becomes clear that he is also a proud owner of one more thing. A long, strong and exceptionally well cared for beard, one he subconsciously strokes with great delight. Sadly, his voice is in the opposite condition. It has an unhealthy rasp to it, and as soon as it raises in pitch even slightly, it begins to break, thin out into a weak, breathy voice. Good day, sir. My name is Bobby Bass, and I will heartily welcome to to my reputable store. What do you sell here? Oh, this is Founders Granel General Store. It offers a wide variety of items. All kinds of tools and mining equipment, weapons, ammunition, armors, clothes. He chuckles. Yeah, go on. I don't know, feel free to take a look around, cause I'm sure you're bound to find something to your liking. Continue. He coughs. Of course, everything comes to at an affordable price. <laughs> what can you tell me about this place? Well, he coughs. Well, Foundry is a mining community. Here with predominantly mine iron, but the mine is rich with metals like aluminum or titanium, among other things. Most of the population works in the mine, so you can. <coughs> yes, people don't exactly come to Foundry to search for an exciting and inno innovative work. <coughs> he begins laughing, but is interrupted by coughing. If you're interested in becoming a miner, you might have to wait a bit. Some mean looking creatures have. <coughs> Showed up in the mine, and it's temporarily closed because of it. Do you know anything about those mine creatures? Not much. <coughs> it's just that they have killed some folks, and that the mine is closed because of them. But I'm sure the foundry guard will deal with those man mean creatures quite soon. They've got capable men and women working here, and if they can stop baronets, <coughs> the others from harming us. They'll be able to deal with a few pesky critters too, right? <coughs> uh, who is that derailed man outside? I think he's on some drugs to tell you the truth. There's something about him that makes me think so. And I'd heard some car city folks talking about using some hardcore drugs there. <coughs> Maybe that's what he was talking about, but... I, I don't know for sure. It doesn't sound like he has a from Core City. I don't know. We are just ignore him. He's a bit loud. But other than that, he's causing no harm. Just ignore him and you're good. Mm, show me the stuff. So, der hatte auch hier Drill, Plant of Fungus, Footstuffs, Leather Armors. Leather Armors hatte ich doch mitgenommen. Die haben auch einen Arsch voll Kohle. Also da wird man so schnell nicht alles los. Ähm ich nehme an, dass die anderen auch noch Jackhammers haben. Ich lasse das jetzt erstmal so. Und dann kaufe ich das danach ein, wenn nötig. Das ist nichts. Da ist noch ein A Barrel. 
Foundry Sniper. Oh, huh? Arena Now Broadcasting Schedule. It's an outdated schedule for the Arena Now Broadcasting Channel. Erfahrung kann man immer mitnehmen. So. Ja, und da. Estelle, Doc, da muss man doch irgendwo reinkommen. Da ist eine Tür. Ein bisschen versteckt. Estelle, a young woman, unusually wrinkly for her age, nods at your approach. A kind stare and light, a toothless smile, together with her somewhat weaky stance, a weakly stance, as though a breeze is enough to knock her down, gives you an inverse impression that she is an old woman that looks younger, rather than the other way around. Uh, you know that it's wrong, though, and you instead shift your focus on her light, grainy voice, which you hear after some coughing. Hello, I'm Estelle Stevenson, Gabriel's wife and Foundry's only pharmacist, she coughs. What can I do for you? What can you tell me about Foundry? I'm guessing you already know that about the mine and hard working conditions. From a personal perspective, being a medical professional in here is rather depressing. Death is not a stranger to Foundry, as people are mort mortally injured in the mine in the metal works, she shrugs. That's life here. My husband, the things he has to deal with, have been affecting him over the years, wearing him down slowly, so forgive him if he says something, you know. It happens sometimes still. I know one day things will get better, she coughs. We just have to pers persever. Sphere. So, can you tell me anything about the mind creatures? Gabriel and I have seen a few of the workers. These creatures caused a f What? Few of the wounds these creatures caused to a few miners, unlucky enough to have been attacked by them, but luckily enough they make it back, she coughs. One of them even spoke, one miner having his arm bitten clean off. Also, Bobby told me that some of the creatures have been seen in the residential area, <coughs> but I don't buy it. I'm sure foundry guards keeping watchful eye and would never allow such a thing to happen. Can you tell me anything about that derailed man outside? She nods. I know who are you talk I know who are you talking about? Uh, he's been around for some time now. Most of the day he just stands there talking about some short deity. Judging from that, he could be a cultist of some sort, but I'm not sure. No one really pays much attention to him. You shouldn't too. Nothing ever became of his pardon and the expression Mac she coughs. Can I see what you have for sale? Medicines and chemicals. Und die hat Blueprint. Health hypo destabilization. Iron gut contains instructions how to create an iron gut pill. Jumping bean. Jumping bean pill. Aha. Ich glaube nicht, dass ich das dringend brauche. Da kommen wir rein. Okay. Na gut. Dann... Da haben wir wohl noch einiges zu erkunden. Aber die hatte... Moment. Die hatte... Achso, eventuell, weil ich keine, keine Verletzungen hatte. Aber ich nehme an, dass die mich dann auch heilen könnte. Die Frage ist, ob die das kostenlos macht. Wird nicht angezeigt als suchbares Item. Gucken wir mal rein. Hm. Okay, haben wir aber.
Oh, Cards, die muss ich auch noch untersuchen. Leather. Aha. Machen ah. wir das hier mal vollständig. Komm mal, komm mal. Lust. Extended Magazine. Aha. Hallo Kevin. The man clears his throat before speaking. Hey, sir, I'm Overseer Kevin Gray of Foundry Guard. Do you need any assistance? What does an Overseer do? Oversees the Foundry Guards. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Any more questions? What can you tell me about Foundry? Foundry is undeniably the safest station in South Underrail. It is utterly unbreachable and, let me tell you straight away, it's rivaling even Underrail Protectorate's Fort Apogee. All that due to a strong position and the valiance of Foundry Guard who exist to serve and protect all within the station walls. If you find yourself in any trouble or otherwise need help, simply find one of the guards and they will gladly assist you. One word of warning though, don't go near the mine. Also, if you need water, Claude can help. You with that, avoid other sources. You'll hear him before you see him, don't worry. That's all you need to know for now, take care. Do you know anything about the mine creatures? Ah, you learned about that quickly. Well, a few people have seen those things in person. What happened was, some miners tunneled into a cavern and ran into those rot, rot rocky creatures. Those things were incredibly aggressive and the mining operation had to be halted. Rightfully so. Some miners were sadly killed and because of that we are on high alert right now. Even, we even suspect that the creatures are somehow... Uh, never mind. The officials are currently discussing the situation and planning the next move. We'll see what they come up with. In the meantime you take care and keep away from the mine. Understand? Why didn't someone already arrest that derailed robbed dude? You mean the short guy? I'd rather shoot him, but that would be against the law. As for not arresting him, I suppose someone higher up the chain grew fond of the guy. I don't know. Besides, he never caused any major disturbance. He's only annoying the marbles out of everyone. And he never gets tired. Unbelievable. I have to go. See you later. Okay, dann klettern wir da noch die Leiter hoch. Aha. Interessant. So, sonst war hier aber nichts. Crazy man. Yeah. Mm, das Schmelztiegel und so. Nicht wirklich viel zum Interagieren bisher. Blubber, blubber. Console. You assume this console is used to control the furnace, but you have no idea how to operate it. Leave it be. Foundry worker, foundry worker. 
There's this guy in Arena, Master Exploder. He looks like he's been sponsored by Foundry. Card. Oh, huh? Fertility figurine. A metal figurine of a fat woman with no feet. How is this supposed to boost anyone's fertility is beyond you. Er hat zwei Erfahrungen gebracht. Ja, hier ist anscheinend nix. Oh. Skeleton Visor. It's a foundry worker visor with a skull painted on it. Looks cool, but very impractical. Nochmal zwei Erfahrungen. Jo, aber hier ist absolut nichts. Ich gehe nochmal da lang, aber... Ne. Dann gehen wir mal nach rechts runter. Oh, da ist sogar ein Jackhammer. Security Scope Card, Access Level 0, Hack. Root Command from Engaged, Attempt to gain Level 1 Access. Hacking successful, Access Upgrade to Level 1. Operate, Operate, Sabot, ne, lass mal, Exit. Ja, sehr schön, aber wir brauchen wir es auch nicht mehr kaufen. Marcos, a man wearing grimy mining overalls gestures you to stop. He is a chubby man with wide shoulders and huge rough skinned hands. And his nails seem to have seen much better days, being all chipped and dirty. He lets out a single long and highly abrasive sounding calf, much akin to a train passing through a tunnel that is too narrow, grinding its way through before he finally speaks. Hey, you don't... You you don't want to go into the mine. The entrance has been closed. Why is it closed? Some nasty creatures have shown up in the mine. Trust me, you don't want to go there, he coughs. Who are you? I am Marcus Bunty, the mining supervisor, he coughs. Who are you? Cordano, nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, what you need? Can you tell me about yourself? Uh, I can't tell you what's not... I can tell you that's none of your business. More questions? What can you tell me about Foundry? Good old foundry? It's not as bad as uh, in here as some people say. What folks don't understand is you can't have everything in life. Folks want the clearest air and water and under armed troops protecting them from iron heads, easy jobs and lots of coins. Well, excuse me, I'm golden here. Mining can fill hard-working man's pockets really well if you are careful around the mine or the metal works. Hey cows. Talking from years of experience here, yeah, you just have to be clever and take care not to die. Drink only clothes, clean water, wear your respirators at all times as well as your protective gear when you're digging, that sort of stuff, he coughs. Then when you earn a lot of coin and finally get tired of foundry, move to Core City and live in, like an oligarch, well, almost, he laughs. Can you tell me anything about the mine creatures? Hey, look, man, I shouldn't talk about that, you dick. He coughs. I don't want to be responsible for spreading any rumors, so my mouth is shut until Foundry Guard deals with the whole situation. Dick, what I mean? Hey, dick, let's talk about something else. Yeah, yeah, what you need. See you later. Yeah, yeah. Ich nehme mal an, dass wir hier dann gleich in den Kampf kommen. Oder, oh, ne, da ist auch noch ein Eingang. Saben. The tall guard meets your approach with silence. The uniform nature of all foundry guardsmen makes it difficult for you to discern any distinct features. But in his case, one jumps into view like a mind shroom in the dark. His damaged shield bears wounds 
of a relentless attack that can only be attributed to a wild savage creature. Large scratches, dense and dry blood streak the shield as if it was canvas uh, was a canvas left at the mercy of a deranged painter. And the shield's outer rim was, has numerous biting marks on it that seem to have been caused by the malicious motion of powerful jaws. Your inspection comes to an halt when the guard utters a simple word. Yes. Can you tell me anything about the mind creatures? First, it's very unsafe to be in this area and you should leave. Second, I can't speak about it. It's classified. Sorry. Fair enough. I'll have you to your duty. Much appreciated. Take care. Mhm. Ja, da hinten läuft noch ein Doktor rum. Olivia. The middle-aged woman was just about to take a bite off of the cold piece of meat when you approached her. Her eyes scan you for a split moment, seeming as though they were going to be pulled back toward the food. They remain focused on you. Her words follow as, as raspy calf. May I help you? She coughs. Hi, I'm Cordano. I'd like to ask you something. She pauses. All right, I'm on a break anyway. She coughs. I'm Olivia. What do you need? What do you do around here? She coughs. Uh, I, she coughs. I don't think I should really be talking to you about that. I don't really know you. Sorry. Persuade. Come on, I'm really interested. Why don't you just tell me? Please, I'd rather not. Uh, what do you do around here? Hmm. What can you tell me about Foundry? If you're not drinking local water, or eating local food, or working in the mine, or with explosives, or breathing the foul air, it's not that bad a place to live in. Oh, and this meat here is good. She points to the piece of meat on the counter. A master's meat, I mean, from his pigs. She laughs, but a calf interrupts her. At least ironheads can't touch us in foundry. Can you tell me anything about the mind creatures? I really don't know what to say, she coughs. I never seen one in person, but I heard those things look quite menacing and that they very much are. I'm sure that the Major uh, Mayor will find a way to rid us of those awful things. I am not worried though, even though I am working closer to them than anyone. I have faith in the guardsmen, she coughs. I need to go now. Bye. Dann gucken wir hier oben noch rein. Nuscht. Chefs. Bla 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 bla. Oh oh. TNT. Aber da kommen wir nicht ran, da wird das dafür knacksen müssen. Da ist noch ein A Barrel und ein Card. Ach ne, das war das. Okay. Da ist noch ein Jackhammer. Und da wird es dann wahrscheinlich ungesund. Bin ich gerade überladen durch das Ding? Ja. Noch ein Jackhammer. Und Barrel, Barrel. Oh je. <lacht> Rubble. Obsidian Shard, eins von sechs. Ich denke, ich werde hier erstmal wieder gehen. Ich muss mal gucken, ob ich die... Hm, weiß ich, ob man die an irgendwen verticken kann. Werde ich ja wohl noch ein paar von finden.
Gehen wir hier erstmal wieder raus. Da geht es auch noch in die andere Richtung. Aber ich gehe erstmal hier rüber und ähm, lad diese äh, lad mal ein bisschen an, von Equipment ab. mal diesen Barrel dort. Also ich könnte auch noch mal hier unten gucken, ob der das abkauft. Der auch, aber der wird wohl nur Mampf kaufen. Foodstuff. Ach, mit dem hatte ich noch gar nicht gesprochen. A man wearing a clean overalls greets you with a large and at first glance honest smile. A first glance honest smile. He is a large framed Buddha of a man with big strong hands sticking out of his sleeves. Yet his ha head seems rather tiny in comparison, reminding you of a custom made replacement part that performs as it should but looks somewhat off. He speaks to you without removing a smile. Well, hello, stranger. How's going? How's it going, huh? I know what you're thinking. Why did I come to this barren station? The air is horribly polluted. People are dirty, working, boring, and there's absolutely no fun to be had here. Don't break your pick, valued customer. There's more to foundry than what initially meets the eye. I. I feel it, oh valued customer, I feel what you want to tell me so desperately. Don't say it. Slush, I know, you are searching for something special, for something that will make your day, your week, your life. You're found it. I am not joking. Do you know what it is, valued customer? Do you know what I have here, what I'm willing to offer to you for almost nothing? You're thinking I'm pulling your leg, aren't you? So if so, then you're wrong. This is an offer you can't resist. And you know it, I have something you desire. And you know what it is. So tell me, tell me. Uh, a toy soldier with a high caliber duck chain gun in one hand, flamethrower in the other, and a yellow ducky paint on his helmet. A garbage bin, mine's broken. A rail gun. An eternal life potion. Yes! Well, almost. Mechanical components. Excitement scars his face as he anticipates your reaction. Yay! I, Brian Honest, run the largest and only store in Foundry which specializes in mechanical components. You can find anything here, and I mean anything. Don't forget, they don't call me Honest for no reason, he laughs. 
Can you tell me something about Foundry? Foundry never had a good mechanical component store until I came here. Very barren in that respect. People were saying, where will I get my adaptive lens? That X store has it, but it's not good enough. Foundry needed something better. Foundry needed Brian Honest. And now I am here, valued customer. Do you know anything about creatures from the mine? Not much, just that after those things showed up and interrupted mining, so many people came to my store to purchase mechanical components of all kinds and they felt golden. How is that connected, you ask? They were suddenly exposed to something they hate, so they had to find comfort in something they love and that was my store. What do you think about that crazy man yelling outside? He never entered my store and I don't listen to his rambling. We get along quite nicely. On the other hand, you are in my store, valued customer, and I feel obliged to listen to your unspoken words, which are telling me you long for some of the components I offer. I am ready to accept your purchase. I am Brian Honest. Alright, let me see what you have in store. Hmm. Das ist jetzt nicht so der Super-Hit. Hurricane. Ah, 55. Mechanics 55, Quality 69. Das ist schon ein bisschen viel. Firing rate. Forward grip. Wir sind attached to the submachine gun. Das hier wäre ja schon interessant. Was will denn der Repair Kits, Metal Components, Armor Parts, One Blueprint. Blueprint haben wir. Bags of Caltrops, Kel Balls of Cloth, Pneumatic Components. Naja. Mehr haben wir hier leider nicht. Dann äh, nehmen wir das einfach mal. Das hier wäre noch interessant, eventuell selber da so ein Ding zu bauen. Aber. Ja, okay. Der andere, das war. Das war noch ein Händler. Den hätte ich vorher noch hingemusst. Ähm, ich packe jetzt den Kram hier erst noch. Oh, da habe ich noch gar nicht reingeguckt. Foundry Plants. Old partially burnt out foundry plants. Unfortunately, you cannot make out the date they were drawn. Take all. Wieder Erfahrung. Und Gewicht. 15 wiegen die. Halt das mal mit. Gucken wir nochmal, ob der das wollte. Also mit dem Verkaufen kommt man hier nicht so besonders weit. Ninja Tabi Boots. Stealth increased by 18. Also eine besser. Okay.
Dann gehen wir da entlang. ein bisschen mehr zu laden anscheinend. Hm. Foundry Sniper. Nicolas. An obviously drunk man staggers about the room. He picks up one of the bottles on the table and begins drinking from it, only to realize it is completely empty. His face deforms in utter disgust as he returns the bottle and steps away from the table. That is, when he spots you. Who are you and what are you doing in my house, huh? F you, uh, did you knock? Hick? Yeah. Well, dang, I heard nothing. I'm so sorry, Hick. But there are, where are my manners? Would you like a drink? Sure, I'd appreciate it. You don't want any? Well, that's a shame and a bit odd, if you ask me. He does not want a free drink. Who? He does not want a free drink? <laughs> Silly. More for me, though. He pours himself another drink after finally finding a bottle with some liquor in it. Hmm, I'm Nicholas, by the way. Nice to meet you, you. I do want, uh, but I. So, what I can I do? What can I do for you? Why are you drinking alone? It's none of your business. You, you odd person that refuses a free drinks, demon. Hick, why? Uh, I, I tell you anything to you. Well, I have a relative who sat home and drowned his problems with booze. He was found dead in a pool of his own vomit. So, if there's something you want to talk about. I don't want to vomit in my die, in my die, die in my vomit. Listen, I'm having some personal issues. He takes another gulp of the booze. It's my wife, Olivia. After 20 years of being happily married, it's like someone spilled molten metal all over our marriage. We, pff, at first, we began arguing more and more, and later it got worse and worse. Now we argue over everything. <laughs> it's unbearable now. We fight all the time and she throws stuff at me and I punched that stupid woman once so hard she fell on the floor. Yeah, pff. That sounds horrible. Or can you just start to hate someone after 20 years of marriage? That sounds horrible. It is. It is very bad. I hate that woman so much now and I don't even really know why. It all started happening. What did you say your name was again? It's Cordano. So, you there, you go. I feel nothing but pure hate for that muck woman. She, he ne seems lost in thought, but after a couple of moments he starts talking again. It is unbearable, so much I even plan on killing her. As soon as he uttered those words, his eyes instantly became clear and focused, as if he sobered up in an instant. Tiny drops of sweat also appeared on his face, slowly growing larger and larger. Why didn't you say so right away? I can take care of that for you. Of can take of her for you for a price, of course. Don't stress yourself over that spell, slip up, man. That ain't any of my business. Kelly, you drunken oaf. Are you derailed? This conversation is over. I am very tired, and we did not talk here. Oh, he points to the door. Leave me alone! Mm -hmm. Ich lad nochmal und mach das Gespräch nochmal. Vielleicht können wir das irgendwie anders führen. I did not hear this correct, right? Hmm. 
Jetzt gehe ich mal zu Olivia. Ich glaube, das war die auf der rechten Seite. <lacht> Can't talk now, I'm working. Okay, müssen wir wahrscheinlich warten. Uh, ah, I suspect your husband wants you dead. She begins coughing violently. After almost 10 seconds, she recovers and responds. What did you say? Why would you suspect something like that? I talked to him while he was drunk, and he mentioned that he was planning it. Oh, did he now? She pauses. The sad thing is, I'm sure that drunken airhead actually means it. You know what? I'm sick and tired of that man's muck. Her eyes become watery, but not produce a tear. He's run ruining my life right now. I hate him. I hate him. If anyone deserves to die, it's that stupid bastard, Muck. How about we report him? And what will he say? A drunk man mentioned he wants to kill his wife. Please arrest him? I don't think the chief will uh, really bother with that, she calls. How about I kill him for you? Stop it! I, I'm not interested in anything like that, she coughs. Are you derailed? No one will know about this. It'll stay between you and me. Forget I even mentioned this. Change of subject. Yeah, sure. Are you sure you don't want me to take care of Nicholas for you? I'm not going to ask you again, Olivia. I need to go now. Bye. Okay. Mm. Schau mich mal auf die To-Do-Liste. Foundry. Mit Olivia. Äh, uh, Husband umbringen. Jetzt gehe ich mal zu dem Typen da unten, dem Polizeitypen. Muss mal jetzt mal wieder rüber. Da unten der Kevin. Zurück, dann gehen wir noch in die andere Zone. 
Gucken, mit wem wir sonst noch reden können. Da müsste ja auch noch der Chef von dem Ganzen sein. Darüber. Ist schon verhältnismäßig groß hier. Dann werde ich auch hier einen Schnitt machen und dann schauen wir beim nächsten Mal weiter. Und werden weiter Foundry erkunden und mit denen reden. Da unten wird noch ein Sektor sein. Ja. Also, bis denn!